Lots of questions following the resignation of the business school dean at the University of St. Thomas. We're following allegations that he lied on his resume to get the job. Stephanie Whitfield explains how this all came to light. I talked to a professor in the School of Business who worked with Mario Enzler. He says he and several other professors could tell as soon as he was hired that something was off. But this accounting professor still can't believe what they found when they started digging. Mario Enzler has an impressive history with the Catholic Church, which he documented in his book, I Served a Saint. This video shows him speaking in Charlotte about his time in the Swiss Guard, serving Pope John Paul II. I had the pleasure to meet also another saint. Mother Teresa. Most recently, he served as the dean of the business school at the University of St. Thomas, where he started in 2020. Each one of us has, you know, 10, 15, 20, sometimes 30 years experience, you know, professional experience. So, I mean, we know what right and wrong is, you know, and, and uh, a number of the people are very, very experienced. Uh, myself included, said, okay, you know, now there's something very desperately wrong. Dr. John you know, Sims is one of the concerned right. faculty and members who decided so. to fact check Ensler's resume after having doubts about his leadership and the way he was appointed. They say the Italian university where he supposedly earned a doctorate doesn't even offer PhDs and where he got his bachelor's degree is actually a high school. Sim says the information was taken to university administrators. Our very existence as a business school is based upon our credibility. The university won't say why Ensler stepped down, but released a statement last night saying, on Friday afternoon, the University of St. Thomas received and accepted Mario Ensler's resignation. Our focus is now on the future of the Cameron School of Business and serving our students through this transition period. It's important that we went public because nothing was getting done internally. This is absolutely last resort and uh, it's not a pleasure to have to do this. We have reached out to Ensler to hear his side of the story, but have yet to hear back. At the University of St. Thomas, Stephanie Whitfield, KHOU 11 News.